A few weeks ago, someone stole one of my images. Here's how I got paid. Quite regularly, my images with regards to photography or commercial work do get used elsewhere, generally without permission. Um, but and this thing happens, it's not a major issue for me. If I find that someone has just shared my work, that's great and that's actually good publicity, so I don't tend to get too funny. I have every right to ask them to take it down, but I don't get funny about it. Where I do get funny and protective over my work is when someone else takes my image without credit and uses it for commercial gain. I am protective over my work, but not just for myself. An industry as a whole, it needs to be protected and a lot of companies do still do this every single day. An image is stolen from a photographer's portfolio or some work that they posted online, changed slightly in some way and used for commercial gain. Now I'm definitely not going to get into a whole argument of when you should and shouldn't go after someone for using your work. I am on the line of if they use it for commercial gain and they've taken it or stolen it without your permission and especially without your knowledge, then it's fair game. You can go after them and ask them for compensation. It does happen a few of the times where you get asked permission or sometimes they don't realize. Now, for instance, wedding venues and wedding coordinators at a venue may just use it and they are used to sharing your images where you would want people to share your Facebook images. And they also then think that entitles them to take one of those images and use them on the website or things like that. And that is different. And there is a fine line. But the recent case and the one that I'm talking about now is a venue, a wedding venue, had taken an image that was taken by me and put on my Facebook page a good few months ago, it might have even been a year ago. Um, and I only noticed it was used when I saw an advertising campaign online via Facebook with this image that was used. No credit was given, the photo was edited, the company's logo was put on top and a big stamp and artwork was also added around the edges along with a special offer. And it was being used for a special offer that was running for two weeks that the venue were put on at the time. It was very clear that that is being used for commercial gain and obviously I wasn't that pleased. So what do you do when you find out someone's used your image? I went straight away, sent an email to the general inquiries at email address for the venue and said the following. Can you confirm who I need to speak to and their email address please regarding an image of mine you have used for a recent commercial advertising campaign of yours? I have attached a copy of it taken from your Facebook page for your reference. It has only just come to my attention that you've used this image and I'm unaware of any agreement but I am sure it was an oversight. Can you provide any details on how you obtained it please? Unfortunately it seems it was used without permission so I need to clarify the extent and capacity it has been used by yourselves. I look forward to your swift response. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I didn't go into massive amount of details. I obviously took a screen grab of the image that was used, attached it to this email, sent it in. Now I knew it was being taken seriously because within two hours I had a response, but not from the venue. It was actually from a marketing company, which it turns out the marketing company is hired by the venue to run promotions, run deals, and just help with general web details and marketing and, and all that side of things. Great, someone who understands what this means and can hopefully help get a quick resolution. Their email said, good afternoon, Matthew. I've been forwarded your email from the venue. I want to completely apologize for the use of this image. I will ensure the post is suitably removed. The photo used was taken from a check-in on Facebook page. Once again, sincere apologies for any issues this has caused. We'll of course ensure we contact you first in future. Can't really argue with the response and if I was them, that's the exact response I would give. I'm very sorry. We've taken it down, hoping that that is the end of the matter. Now they didn't respond to my main question of, in what capacity was it used? That's a very key question you should always ask. How was it used? What was it used for? Has it also gone into their website? Has it gone onto any print or brochures that were made? Anything like that, because obviously that affects what I would charge for use or the license for usage rights on an image. 24 hours later, I composed myself and wrote the following email. Thank you for your response. It was a shame to see it online, especially without any credit. 
I am protective over my work as it is my livelihood and I do actually license my images for commercial advertising use. Unfortunately, this sort of thing does happen from time to time. Can you please confirm this image was not used in any other capacity by yourselves? I have attached an invoice for the standard digital social media license usage thus far. I appreciate the venue are liable for this, but I assume you manage their social media and that would be the reason you have been forwarded the email. If you and the venue can ensure this is paid swiftly, we can leave it there and chalk it up to experience. So I sent that with an invoice and I sent that very quickly just so they knew exactly where I stood. In the 24 hours before I sent that email, I did look into the company and just make sure there was no opportunities for us to work together, build a working relationship, maybe go on to their recommended supplier list, which does help with certain venues. I've gotten great results by being on that list. And if there was some sort of benefit in kind, then I may be able to work with them on that. I have been told explicitly that they would not look to put me on any recommended supplier list as they do not have one and they don't like to seem biased in any way towards any supplier. That's a shame. They obviously like my work because it's not the first time they've shared it online, but it is the first time it was used by the marketing company for an online ad campaign. Knowing this is why I sent the email with a standard license fee. There was no penalty or fine added. There was no talk of compensation. If they had got in touch beforehand and said they wanted to use this image for an online advertising campaign, what would the cost be? was the exact amount I put in the invoice and forwarded to them. I'd like to think in anyone's opinion, it wasn't extortionate and it was very reasonable. Unsurprisingly, I didn't hear anything back. I sent a couple of other emails, just inquiring as to an update with regards to my invoice. I heard nothing from the venue and I heard nothing from the marketing company. The venue and the marketing company were CC'd in all emails. They were being read, but no reply was forthcoming. After a week had passed, I decided to send a recorded letter or a signed for letter in the UK, uh, which is where I just get proof that it's been delivered and a member of staff at the venue would have to sign for it. The letter and invoice I sent was very brief to the point, just saying the attached invoice that was sent to you on the 17th of October has still not been paid or acknowledged. Please confirm receipt and it will be actioned within a reasonable time as it's now overdue. Any queries in relation to this matter can be discussed with the rep at the marketing company and of course myself directly using the below contact details. Now as it was the venue's Facebook page, technically they're the ones liable for it. Although a marketing company was acting for them, the marketing company was employed by them and acting on their behalf. So technically the venue are the ones liable for the invoice. Now a same person would say that the marketing company are responsible and in theory that is exactly why the marketing company were contacted. I'm assuming along the lines of, you've done this, can you please sort it out? And you would expect them to just pay the invoice. They didn't want to pay the invoice quite clearly. I don't think they were being funny, but they were just ignoring me and hoping I would go away. They received the sign for letter. Nothing happened for a further week. I sent another email reminding them of the issue and just to say that I'll be taking the next step in my standard procedure. Still nothing for a week, and just when it was about to become unreasonable with the amount of time they were taking to reply, I received an email. This is an email from who I believe to be the owner of the venue. Uh, this isn't someone that I've actually had any dealings with, I've never met, uh, but from what I understand, is the owner of the venue and was therefore drafted in to deal with this issue. Just responding to your letter dated 25th of October, in relation to your invoice, contrary to your appreciation that we are liable for it, the marketing agency put the picture up without our knowledge. It was an honest mistake on their part, which they were happy to rectify as soon as you made us aware of it. A reasonable person would have left it at that. Removing the image is not rectifying it, especially if it is two weeks after you have had commercial benefit from this image. So to say a reasonable person would have left it at that did annoy me somewhat. We deal with hundreds of photographers every year. Not one has ever charged us for an image we have used. Protective over your work, more like precious. Well, that in itself gives you an indication as to the issue that our industry can sometimes get. And this is something that really got to me. This is why we have to protect it and why we have to treat everyone the same. If they're not going to give us benefit in kind or pay us for the use of our images, then as an industry, we are in trouble. This isn't a big multinational company and I wasn't going to go in all guns blazing. In fact, I didn't. But his response was very derogatory. It was very much like, who do you think you are? I work hard. I've honed my skills. That is my image and I am protective over it. 
all of my work that I take may be paid work for a client or not, but it is also mine. And should I be able to use it or benefit from it in any way is my right to do so. The way I was spoken to in that email is very disrespectful and very, to be honest, unprofessional. He went on to say, please reinvoice to the marketing agency who have agreed to pay your exorbitant penalty fee slash fine. He did also say that no other photographer has actually charged them to use their image. It depends. It all depends on what benefit in kind you've given that photographer. But if you took it without their knowledge, I can tell you now, most of them would have the same response, especially if they've had experience like I have in commercial photography and wedding photography over many years. The final comment that he made in this email actually upset me probably the most and again proves how unprofessional it is and then turn around and say they did nothing wrong and I'm being precious and trying to find them and just make a quick buck because that's exactly what he's implying and I'm not having it. Also, in order to save any embarrassment, please politely decline any future bookings you or your company may have at the venue as you are not welcome here and we will certainly not be recommending you to any future brides. They mentioned that I'm not welcome there anymore because of this issue. Now, I don't necessarily want to go back there because of it, but had it been resolved any other way, I can tell you now, they probably still wouldn't recommend me, even if I was nice about it and said, don't worry about it, let's leave it. If the shoe was on the other foot, I think I would be embarrassed. I wouldn't want to recommend that photographer. So once this has happened, it is difficult, but I can confirm that it wouldn't be an issue moving forward. And should I be asked direct, this is a video I'll be pointing any brides towards. So having received this email, I'm sure you can see I was not impressed. I was not happy and I wasn't going to allow him to get away with what he had said. I sent the following reply again, CCing in the marketing company. And this is what I said. I am disappointed in your response and find it unprofessional at best. I also run a commercial film and photography company, and this is not the first time something like this has happened. But thankfully, this is now becoming less frequent in the industry. However, I have never had anyone respond in the manner you have, and it speaks volumes on how you see this situation and the respect you have for photography professionals. Be under no illusions. This was theft of my work, and it was used without permission for an advertising campaign by your company. It was taken without consent, no credit given, and your own logos and special offer placed on top of the image and used online. It was deliberate, and whilst I recognise it might have been in error, or the law was not known, it does not change the facts. I find it hard to believe a professional marketing agency does not know the law on this, but it was confirmed as a mistake by Ian, so I left it at that. I appreciate the image was removed, but of course, with all social media, the posts have been seen and the benefits of the advert had already been gained. By sending you a standard license fee invoice, that was being reasonable. Had I been asked ahead of time to use the image in the fashion you did, I would have quoted you the exact same license fee. I have not charged you a penalty fee or fine of any kind. I have not asked for further compensation. I cannot show favour to anyone who uses my images without consent, otherwise my business would not survive. There would be no deterrence to others to do the same by mistake or on purpose, and my existing paying clients would have a huge problem with it too. I'm sure you've been told already it's an open and shut case and doesn't need to be dragged out or made an issue of any more than this. I do not have any weddings booked with any clients at your premises currently, but should that arise in the future, I will let them contact you for clarification on this matter. You have every right to deny me access to the premises and I will respect that. But do not think for one minute that I have done wrong here and will ensure that the facts are known should I be asked. I am unable to reinvoice the marketing company as they are acting on your behalf. Legally, it is not them who are responsible for this license fee. And of course, it was your Facebook page. It also becomes extremely messy. And frankly, I just want this dealt with and put to bed in a reasonable time. They can, of course, pay the invoice directly, which it would seem is the right and proper thing to be done. And if they confirm it has been paid to me via email and I can forward a receipt for their records. Otherwise, as it stands, you will still need to pay it yourselves and invoice them directly. Until payment has been received, I will continue with my standard process. I have attached another copy of the invoice again for the record. I was disappointed that since Ian's initial reply, which was extremely dismissive, all of my other communication had been ignored by Ian and yourselves until now. I still do not have an answer or confirmation on whether you have used this image or any other images of mine in any other form. I would appreciate an answer to this along with confirmation that this invoice has been paid. I am not looking for a back and forth on this and once the invoice has been paid and confirmation my work has not been used by Ian or yourselves in any other form, then the matter will be concluded. Quite a long email, but there are things in there that needed to be said. I wanted it on the record and I wanted him to understand that what they had done was wrong and wasn't something that they can just walk away from. Now I appreciate 
he may not have had this situation before and it may be that they've used and shared images online all the time and that's okay especially if the photographer is happy with it or knows about it but in this particular case they're in the wrong. Now I haven't received any reply from the marketing company as of yet but having replied very quickly to the owner's email and obviously this one in reply cc'd them in again I did get a very swift following response. Good morning, Matthew, I hope you're well. As detailed in the first email I sent, I just wanted to apologize again for the honest error on my part. Our marketing company will be paying the invoice you've attached as soon as possible. Please have my assurances that this is the only image that which was used from yourself and purely just on social media, which was removed immediately. Once again, my apologies for any issues this has caused. And there we have a reasonably large marketing agency realizing the situation, reading my response to the owner, in some way distancing themselves from him and confirming they will pay the invoice straight away. After a little bit of back and forth, exchanging some emails with the marketing agency, uh, it was confirmed that it was paid and within 24 hours it had the funds. That was the end of that and a receipt was sent. Job done. So what's the moral of this story? I think we just need to be protective over our work. This isn't something that I normally do, a rant video, but I really did actually want to just rant about this. It's been very frustrating. It is frustrating when this happens and as an industry we just need to be protective over our work. There are companies out there that will take advantage. Now this isn't a big company and had it have been Coca-Cola or Pepsi or someone using it for an international advertising campaign, that would be very different and the compensation would be much higher. But as it was I just wanted to be compensated for what was fair and it was exactly what I would have charged any other company had they have asked ahead of time. I think that's something we need to remember. It was never going to be thousands, it was just something that I wanted to be fairly compensated for even though they had done it a little bit dodgy and they also tried to just brush it under the carpet when it was brought to their attention and then ignored me after. I think they realized once I stated that you know I am experienced in this I do run a commercial film and photography business and as a marketing company I don't believe you didn't know what you did was wrong. The venue owner's opinion is a bit sad and that is the one sour grape in the whole thing. Had you have just been professional and said this wasn't me it was the marketing agency I'm sure they will deal with it for you which is exactly what I would have said if I owned the venue and I think what most people would have said then of course that would have been that. But there are still a lot of people out there that think it's okay to just take your work and use it for themselves. And it isn't just for me. This is for the industry as a whole and I will always do the same. Because it's other photographers, especially newer photographers coming through, people that have a good skill set that will just be taken advantage of. You'll see it a lot. They give away their work when they start out in the photography world. And I think charging any price, especially lower prices when you start, isn't a problem. But don't undervalue yourself and just don't let anyone take you for granted. It's that simple. I hope you found this informative. I hope it helps in some way. As I say, it's not normally my usual video. If you've happened to stumble across this video, please do check out our other ones here on the channel. We've got loads up in the world of photography and film and hopefully you'll find them interesting and beneficial. Please do subscribe, hit that bell notification. Subscribing really helps the channel. It makes a big difference to know you've actually benefited in some way from watching this uh, and just helps us grow and it'd be great if you could do that. Don't forget to hit the like button as well if you get a chance. Leave us a comment below. In fact, I'd love to know your situations. If you've had anything like this happen to you, what you did and maybe what you would do if it was the other way around. So do leave a comment in the link below and we can have a little chat about that there. As always, I'm Matt from Roto and I will catch you in the next one.